It's the Bechtel Basement. On today's episode, cooking. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Hello, and welcome to season two of the Bechtel Basement. We're back, almost live from the basement of the Birdville Center of Technology and Advanced Learning. I'm Desmond, and with me is Wesley Ann. It's a new season, Wesley Ann. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really hyped. Uh, I think it's going to be a really fun show to be on, so. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm excited because we're going to be uh, cooking up some meats. How do you feel about the meats? I'm, I actually don't mind it. Uh, I think I think eating protein can also come from eating not animals. What about you? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I really love the control I have over everybody else's hands. <laughs> we have a great show today. We're featuring our very first cooking segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Are you ever tired of TV that's just so boring, complicated, and convoluted? Well, I've got something for you. Witchney Minus, a paid subscription to Static. For only $8.99 a month, you can watch as the black and white pixels flicker in a plethora of ways. I have black, I have white, what you want. Now let's find out what regular people like you think of this product. Welcome back, everybody. As the new season of Bechtel Basement begins, we're excited to really dig into what makes us tick. To do that, we're going to play a quick round of Would You Rather. How is this gonna work? <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. You ready, Wesley Ann? Yeah. Alrighty, I'll begin by giving you your two choices. Alright. So, would you rather have hairy gums or lick all the dead bugs off the front of a car windshield? Okay, fun fact, I have a bug phobia. I'm scared of butterflies, moss, anything cute, I'm scared of, if it's a bug. So that would be really ugly, but also having hairy gums. That's gross, right? Yeah, yeah, it is gross. It, what, wait. Mm -hmm. It's gross, it's confirmed. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, can I see the, the, yeah, the so diagram? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Don't, don't no <laughs> rush. Okay, so the gums on this picture are not that hairy. They're like one or two, like per tooth. Oh, like so, so, not as bad as I was expecting. And okay, looking all the dead bugs off the front of a car wi windshield. Okay, they're dead. People eat bugs, That's right? Like temporary. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with the bugs, even though I have a bug phobia. Wow. Yeah. That's thank you. that's beautiful. Uh, Everyone clap. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You. Okay, your turn. Nice. Um, okay, would you rather eat oatmeal every day for a year? That's not that bad. Oatmeal, oatmeal is so good. Okay, uh -huh. or have your own two top front teeth never stop growing? <laughs> now that's like a superpower. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Okay, eat oatmeal every day for a year. That's, not that's that like bad. yeah, that's that's fine. There's variety. I can take the meal with the oats. I'll choose that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 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 All right. You ready? Yeah. Now, would you rather spend another second in AV learning from Mr. Upchurch or 40 years in a coma? 40 years in a coma for sure. Good answer. Good I've answer. always wanted to sleep for 40 years and <laughs> being in here is so tough. Obviously, I'm working so hard and no one is appreciating what I have to offer. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh. All right. Um, would you rather have hot fudge perpetually dripping from your nostrils <laughs> or eat a zucchini split with a ketchup instead of hot fudge? 
This is both about ice cream. So yeah. mm. there you go. Yeah, I'll take uh, the zucchini. Why? Because like Mark Zuckerberg, he's kind of an idol for me. And um, and he was named after the zucchini. And so really? I think I could handle it. Yeah. OK. But. But. Wouldn't uh, you, uh, but uh, bro, OK, wouldn't you rather have like hot fudge coming out of your nose instead of like blood? Like, do you, do you get nose please? I don't. No. You don't? I'm not. We're. We're both not weak. We're not weak. Woo! Let's go. Yeah! Okay. Wow, it's incredible. I know. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. I'll. You ready? Yeah. Would you rather always have to wear clown makeup or have a millipede crawl up one nostril and out the other? Man, that's that's the first hard one. <laughs> I mean, I'm what are you a, gonna do? I'm such a catfish already. I mean, I think that I'm already <laughs> wearing so much makeup that it wouldn't yep. make much of a difference. And again, with my bug phobia, uh, a live animal crawling in my nose does not sound pleasant at all. Mm. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to wear clown clown makeup every day forever. That Thank wise you. choice. Wise choice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Would you rather eat an earwax burrito or only be able to eat food that is 10 months old? <laughs> That's a hard one. This is getting a little more intense. Um, yeah. 10 months old. That's really old. I mean, but there's some food that can only... Like what? Eat, okay, well, one's temporary, one's not temporary. Uh, is that your only, like, your only, like, choice is, like, if it's temporary or not? Like what if, like temporary? Like, okay, was well, like, oh, you if got temporary stabbed. kills me, then I won't choose that Wesleyan. But like, if okay. it doesn't, then it's temporary. I have to always eat ten-month-old food. Yeah. Wesleyan, does that make any sense to you? No. Okay. Clown makeup. I'll choose the earwax burrito. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you ready, Wrong Wesleyan? Decision. Yeah. Go ahead. Alrighty. Um. Would you rather? Never mind. We're done with this game, fools. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. We'll be cooking with Steve Wesley right after this. Stay with us. Hello, I'm Grayson Lippies, and today we're doing really awkward interviews. Hello. Oh, hi. It's, uh, Philly cheesesteak. What about it? <laughs> Do you like <laughs> <laughs> Nice work. Y'all are uncomfortable? A little. I apologize. Not really. Hola. Were you going to ask me something? Mm -hmm. You're the interviewer. And they have like um like a lot of it's like a bunch of stuff with I don't know. What do you mean? Uh, Hi. Okay. Okay. What? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? I'm here with Virginia Charman. Nice. Testing one, two, three, four. Our guest today is a chef, a teacher, and he has uh, been seen on such shows as My Family Recipe Rocks. He's going to be teaching us his favorite hot wings recipe. Please welcome to the basement, Steve Wesley. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so today we'll be preparing our famous sweet and heat wings. We have a little secret ingredient we're gonna add to that today. Uh, the best way is to go, you can do frozen wings or raw wings, and we're going with the thawed out wings. Uh, we've got a special season in here that they ask me every day what's in it, but uh, when I leave, it leaves with me. Anyway, all right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put the wings in uh, and fry them about, uh, about 10 minutes. We've got the grease kind of hot there, about 350 degrees. We're going to get them in there and 
See that grease is rolling really good, so we're gonna be all right. So we, once again, we're going to let that cook for about 10 minutes, get it done all the way through. And then we're going to come back and uh, show how the process goes with the seasoning in our special sauces. And it does say sweet and heat wings, but I would tell you what's in there also, but family secret. Anyway, every, every Wednesday at the Bechtel, we have Wings Wednesday. So we have a different flavor every, every week. So come on, come on, come on to the bistro at the Bechtel and Wings Wednesday. Welcome back to the Bechtel Basement. We're making some wings today. So Steve, while I watched you make these wings, I saw that you put an extreme amount of love into them. Is that what makes yours better than the rest? In part, yes, sir. <laughs> That's good. Well, Leanne, any questions? Um, whenever you have these at the Bechtel, how many do you serve and how much are they? Okay, so we have bone-in, which we're cooking right here, and boneless. Mm -hmm. So it's four bone-in and the five boneless, and they're only three dollars. Best deal in town. Wow. Better than those other places that will go nameless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, while cooking it, how do you know when uh, when they're done, when they're ready? Well, usually they start floating toward the top, but I do time them. So about with these, about uh, 10 to 11 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can always do the thermometer and make sure they're uh, to 165 degrees. But floating to the top is your first clue. Mm -hmm. All right. So as a chef, I'm sure you have to deal with onions a lot. So whenever you're chopping onions, do you cry? I do not. A real man. <laughs> yeah. But wow. that was in fact a trick question. All real men don't chop onions. We bite right, right into them, like an apple. Okay, uh, <laughs> thank you, but no thank you. Uh, Desmond, do you cry when you eat, a, eat an onion? Every time. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, so what oil do you use whenever cooking these? Well, I can you, use just basic vegetable oil, uh, but if you're deep frying like we're doing in our uh, commercial kitchen, you know, it's a high, higher quality oil mm -hmm. for, you know, higher temperatures and, you know, mass frying. Mm -hmm. But your basic vegetable oil at your home. So when developing these special seasoning, is it just a trial and er error kind of way? Uh, yeah, well, or is it like family passed on? Or? Well, I came up with it, so mm -hmm. it was trial and error at first. Like, okay, you make some wings, you take them to your neighbors, and, yeah. you know, they like to, if you have food, you can go to your neighbor's house and they'll let you in. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. <laughs> and so then, you know, this one's pretty good, this one's pretty good, oh, but this one. And so that's how mm -hmm. it came about, literally. That's the true story. Wow. wow. You have some good friends. Yes. <laughs> well, they like to see me come because they have food. <laughs> okay. That's always a good welcome into my house. <laughs> always, always. Yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to pull them out. I'm going to turn this oil off. It's been about 10 minutes. We're getting ready to pull them out and uh, uh, season, sauce, and plate. So they're golden brown, just like you like them. It's gonna be all crispy. And... For clarity, I'm definitely not vegan. Okay, wonderful. Just wanted to make that okay. very clear. So it means you wanna test them out, is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> Okay, so we're going with the special season, unmarked bottle. It's the unmarked bottle, the students ask me every day, What's in there? It re they really ask the other teachers and they say, I don't know, and they don't know. Because I'm the only one that really knows. So I'm going to go with a little seasoning first to get it all uh, throughout the chicken. And we can go with our sweet and heat. And it's sweet because I stuck my finger in it. <laughs> all right, here we go. So, and uh, you got to know what you're doing so you won't drop them on the floor. Uh, you don't want to go with the five second rule unless you're at your house, right? Okay, so let's add, add a little bit more seasoning to it. And right here, and I heard somebody saying something about uh, heritage, so we're going to add, um, add a little hot honey to kick it up a little bit. Um, what do you think is like the most important ingredient when it comes to the whole sauce? Um, well, obviously, 
the, you know, different flavors and the flavor has to go all the way through. You, you have some like this one that's going to hit you and then mm -hmm. it's going, something's going to come back and hit you on the back of the head. Right. Like the hot, okay? So yeah. That's, so, <laughs> so we got the sweet heat and I did a hot honey on the back of it. And so we're going to go ahead and plate this. How long have you been making wings for? Uh, well, you know, in, uh, since the 90s, you know, like before you all were born, <laughs> you know, back in the 90s, uh, wings started getting popular. Uh, I was living in Memphis and they were really popular in Memphis. And so uh, one thing led to another, and here I am. To be honest, I didn't even know wings existed past the 90s. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, here we go. I'll plate it up. And bam. There you go. Nice. Does anybody want to try? <laughs> well, I mean, I'll West try Ham? it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? I wish I had my paper towel over here, but uh Come on guys, let's try some wings. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh it looks really hot. Here. I don't know. Oh, well is he still filming? Okay, here you go. You good? Okay. Okay. You good? Yeah. Okay. Let me know what you think. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right, so how's the wings? Good. Good? You're better than those other places? Of course. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll be right back. Alrighty. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello. Are you interested in buying or selling some car insurance? Is this an emergency? Are you interested in buying or selling some car insurance? This number is for emergencies only. Thank you. Well, that was weird. Okay. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello, this call is officially a final notice Hello? from IRS. Uh, Internal Revenue Service. Uh, the reason of this call is to inform you. Nine one one. What's your emergency? I am calling you to inform you about your. Credit okay, I'm not sure why you robots keep calling nine one one, but this is for emergencies only. If you don't. Um, sir, are we supposed to be getting robocalls? No, we have a filter for that. It's just like I just keep getting calls, and I just don't know if that's a problem. Listen, just quit making excuses for hanging up on people, and just get back to work, okay? Okay. I have called to inform you that you have won a free vacation from Sandal. Your car insurance payment is overdue. On my end, I have seen that you have been driving safe. I am calling you to inform you about your homeowner insurance. Okay, if I hear another word about the IRS or the credit card debt again, I'm going to throw my chair across the room. Ma'am, I'm in a real situation here. I've hit someone. Oh, don't try that on me. I've heard them all. IRS, credit card debt, home insurance, and I'm sick of it. No, no, this is serious. I've hit someone with my car. Oh, no, no, no. Don't even try. This number is for emergencies only. This is a real emergency. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Welcome back. I'd like to say thank you, Steve, for stopping by. We're so grateful for yeah, your presence pleasure. and My your pleasure. wings. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so, uh... It smells really good in here. <laughs> I'd just like to, to note that. It smells really good. Yeah, it, it smells fantastic. And that's all thanks to you, Steve. Oh, we appreciate it. There's only right. two left for you and somebody. Yeah, <laughs> I can't <laughs> <Okay>. wait. <laughs> all right, thank you for stopping by. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Until then, the basement is closed.